What is going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you if I was completely brand new, if I knew nothing about how to make money on YouTube, I had zero subscribers, what would I do in the next 24 to 48 hours to make money? That's exactly what we're gonna be covering today. But before we dive into the content, I got a $1,000 giveaway at random. I'm going to be giving away $1,000 to a lucky subscriber. To qualify, all you gotta do is number one, you gotta like this video. Number two, you gotta subscribe to the channel. Number three, you gotta tick the bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. And number four, you have to put a unique comment in the comment box below based off of a question I'm gonna be asking you during this video. So if you complete those tasks, that will enter you in the drawing to receive that $1,000 you can use for pretty much anything, investing into your business, buying an online course, using it for really anything that you wanna use it for. So without further ado, go ahead and complete those tasks now other than the commenting, and let's dive into this video right now. So here we are over on YouTube, okay? First thing that we need to do is we need to find what's called a keyword that has low competition and high search volume. What is a keyword? Guys, a keyword is just a simple phrase that somebody types into YouTube or Google search engine. Now, when somebody types in a phrase, for example, how to reverse diabetes, how to start an online business, how to stop my dog from barking, how to braid my hair, there's going to be a list of content in Google and a list of videos in YouTube giving people the answer. What we want to do is we want to position ourselves at the top of these search engines so people click on our links, click on our videos, and click on our blogs. But the way to do that is each search has a different search volume, people searching for that search, right? As well as a certain level of competition people that are competing in the top 10 to 20 of Google and YouTube. So for example, if we were to go to Google right now, we type in how to reverse diabetes, for example. You have the ads right here. People are actually paying to be here. But of course, we wanna make money quickly. We don't have wanna to have to pay for ads. And then after the ads, you have the organic search results. These are all free search results. What we wanna do is we wanna position ourselves for this search term at the very top. The problem that most people have when doing this is that there is a lot of competition. There's a lot of creators, in other words, creating blog posts, creating videos over on YouTube, for example, if we type in reverse diabetes, there is a lot of competition. And so what can we do to make sure that we beat out this competition? we use a concept and an idea known as piggyback marketing. What we do is we find new trends, we find new search terms that have low competition because not a lot of people know about these training topics and these search terms, right? Low competition, but they have very, very high search volume. So this is the exact way that we do this, and this is how I do it in my niche. Of course, my niche is teaching people how to start their own online business, affiliate marketing, digital marketing education, YouTube ads, so on and so forth. But it's all based under the umbrella of teaching people how to start an online business. So I can simply go to YouTube and Google, we'll do it for both, and we'll go ahead and start typing in how to start an online business. Now, we're looking for piggyback keyword phrases or piggyback search terms. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by looking at the paid search results right here. So this says get started with Shopify, PayPal business account, big commerce. And we wanna look at these company names, these brand names, whatever product or service that we're selling, and we wanna figure out how long it's been around for. That's number one. So we can now go ahead and we can click over to Shopify here and we can check out their website. Of course, we know that this is a uh, online shopping, not just a shopping cart, but it's a full integrated website that allows you to create your own e-commerce stores. So it's kind of an all-in-one solution. 
So what we could actually do, since it's a way to build an online business, is we can piggyback off of Shopify and do a Shopify review and promote Shopify and earn affiliate commissions or even promote another product that might be related to Shopify. So another perfect example would be to, for example, if you are looking for a certain brand of skateboard, okay? And let's say it's like a Tony Hawk skateboard, but you realize that there's, you know, you've looked at Tony Hawk skateboards and you realize they're not the, the best kind of skateboards. Birdhouse skateboards are not the best. And there's this other uh, skateboard brand called uh, J&I Skateboards. I'm just making that up. And you realize, hey, you know what? I know about the Birdhouse Skateboards by Tony Hawk. I'm going to do a review on these skateboards, but I'm going to tell people why this TNI skateboard, I think that's what I said, this TNI skateboard is actually better than the Tony Hawk Birdhouse Skateboard. So I do the review on the Birdhouse Skateboard, and at the end of my review, I just simply say, hey, hope you enjoyed this review on the Tony Hawk Birdhouse Skateboard, but let me give you some advice on what skateboard is actually better. It's more durable, it lasts longer, the trucks are better, so on and so forth. And if you wanna learn more about this TNI Skateboard, click the link below in the description. So what I did is I ethically piggybacked off of Tony Hawk's brand name and also the Birdhouse skateboard brand name to make a commission on this TNI skateboard. Okay, does that make sense? So that's kind of what we're doing right here with Shopify. There might be another e-commerce store creator that's better than Shopify and we could do a review on Shopify and then say, you know what, Shopify is great, but let me show you this store that actually has better features and its ease of use is just so much better. And then you can kind of go in and show them. And then you could say, hey, click the link below if you want to check out this top recommended done for you e-commerce store creator, the software, right? Um, so you can choose to promote the product that you might come across, like in this case at Shopify, or you can use the brand name to piggyback off of to promote another product, okay? And the easiest way to really find uh, the affiliate programs for like these different you know, websites that we're going to and these different products is you scroll to the bottom and sometimes it'll say become an affiliate. Now this isn't a, a, a lander, this is an affiliate lander, so it's not gonna show it at the bottom. Um, not, not an affiliate lander, but it's just a landing page that gets you to enter a, an email address. But if you wanna go to the primary website, you can just go to shopify.com and then if you scroll down, there should be a place that says affiliates see affiliate program. So we can go ahead, apply now, we can join Shopify's affiliate program. We could do a simple review on Shopify, kind of research the ins and outs of Shopify. We can even use it. A lot of times products will, uh, you know, will, will give you a free trial. Uh, sometimes they won't, but sometimes you can reach out to them and say, hey, I wanna do a review on your product and release it to my up and coming audience over on YouTube. Can you give me trial access or free access to the product to test it out and showcase it? So that would allow you to kind of, you know, learn about the product, implement the product, and then teach other people what you think of the product. And that's really the, the three-step process to scripting the perfect video. And if you didn't hear that right, once again, what you would do is you would learn about the product, you would implement what, you know, what the product has to offer, whether it's a running product that allows you to run faster, if it's Shopify, a SaaS company that is all about an e-commerce store, maybe you build the e-commerce store, and then of course after you're done, you teach other people how to do it. It's really that simple. So you can apply here to become an affiliate by clicking apply now. So Shopify is just an example. But furthermore, we wouldn't necessarily pick this product name to piggyback off of and create a review around quite yet. What we wanna do next, before we do that, now that we went from, of course, YouTube, and we looked at all the ads here, and then we went to the website of uh, the specific ads, and we found the brand or the product or service that's being sold. What we wanna do next is we wanna go to Google Trends. Okay, and then we're just gonna click on the top result, Google Trends right here. And what we could do is we can simply just type in the name of the product or service. For example, in this case, it's Shopify. 
And what's really cool about this is it's gonna give us the interest over time, kind of an idea of the search volume or the demand of the specific product over the past 12 months. In this case, you can obviously change it. You can go to the, the past five years as well, which you can see right here. More and more people are actually wanting to use Shopify to build their e-commerce stores. You could even go 2004 to present. Okay, as you can see right here, back in like 2012, it looks like kind of really started becoming uh, popular then or probably launched then, right? No one knew about Shopify. So if you were able to create content around Shopify back in like 2012 and your YouTube video was ranked at the top or your article was ranked at the top, boom, you could be earning a lot of affiliate commissions since then all the way to, to you know 2020. So this is where we want to be creating content around a brand new keyword. You could still do it all the way over here. There's just going to be more competition. So you would look at this and say, you know what? There's, there's just, you know, there might be too much competition or this keyword is just aged way too much, this search phrase. I mean, the search phrase is, is eight years old. So we would go back to the drawing board and we would keep researching, okay? So let's actually, we can look at these different videos too and we can see what they're promoting. So how to start an online store, how to start an online business. I really want to find out what these people are promoting in the description of their videos too as well. But since this was uploaded a year ago, and if I was to click on the link in the description, find out what they're advertising, it, it already tells me that whatever, whatever they're advertising is probably you know, older, because this is at least a year old, because this video was uploaded a year ago. You see what I'm saying? So that's one way to do it, but you're gonna get keyword ideas or ideas that you can create content around and products to review, but it's still not gonna be piggyback worthy. So what we can do is we can kind of hit the refresh page here and see if there's any other ads that pop up. See, we got Wix. Wix is another website. We can type in Wix right here. I know Wix has been around for a while. We could do a review on Wix. But again, this has been around since, I mean, wow, 2004. So let's, let's keep researching. So this time, let's actually go to Google and let's type the same thing into Google. Let's type in how to make money online. And we don't need to just type in that search phrase. We can type in anything, any search phrase that relates to our niche, right? But we'll just, we'll just keep it at that. I mean, we could type in how to make money from home, how to make money online part-time, things of that nature. So this first ad is Yield Street, passive income investments. Okay. Generate passive income while you explore. Okay. So check it out, Yield Street. I'm just gonna click on get started. What would you do? What would you do with an extra source of income? I'm just gonna click a bunch of boxes here because I want to see what is being promoted here. Okay, build passive income with Yield Street, access to innovative income generating products, investments with attractive yields, and typically low stock market correlation. Okay, I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna type in Yield Street into Google Trends now. Yield Street. I don't know if it's all one word or if it's, let me just, Yield Street. Okay. So January 2016, it looks like it really got hot, but recently 2019, because they're doing a lot of advertising here, that's probably why the search volume and the interest has gone up. So what we're doing is they're spending all the money here to be at the top of Google, because you can see this says ad, and then we're doing a review on the company or the product or service, and we're able to piggyback off of them ethically and kind of siphon off their traffic via YouTube through a video or Google through a blog. Of course, I like YouTube. Uh, that's the way that I like to do it because I, I think video is just easier for me, and that's typically what I teach. So what we would do, okay, even though this, 
you know, isn't showing that it just released right in 2020, because that would be the ideal is just a brand new search term, a brand new brand. I mean, think of uh, Uber when Uber first came out, and you were able to leverage Uber and do a review on Uber right when Uber was released, right? That's the idea. That's kind of what we're looking for here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to kind of take this to the next step because there's another way, even though that this was released back in 2016, this brand, we can still see how much competition there is. Okay, keep following me here. So we're going to go to YouTube back over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in all in title, okay, with a colon, I believe it's a colon, and then quotations, I'm going to type in yield street, close quotations. Okay. And you can see, actually, can you see that how this is finishing the sentence for me, you can see how it says yield street reviews, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit quickly and pressed enter, but it pulled up yield street reviews and yield street review. YouTube's actually giving us what people are typing in as it relates to Yield Street. So it means people are typing in Yield Street reviews. So we can go ahead and we can also look at Yield Street reviews. Okay, so let me do one thing. I need to change this again. I'm going to do all in title. And then I'm going to do Yield Street. Or I could even do Yield Street reviews, right? And then we can actually look at the competition and look. There is zero competition for Yield Street reviews. So essentially what YouTube is doing when we enter this little code in with the keyword in parentheses is it's going through YouTube and it's finding if there is Yield Street reviews in the title of any of the YouTube videos. And you're seeing that it's not there. And that gives us some good information and some good insight on whether there's a lot of competition or a little competition. Now, again, if we type in Yield Street, you can see that there is one, two, let's see, three, Y Yield Street, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so like there's nine. There's nine people competing. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, the less the better, but like Yield Street reviews, you can go out there right now and do a, a review on Yield Street and you may get uh, quite a bit of uh, searches from that right off the bat, right when you upload the video because there's zero competition, allowing you to get subscribers very quickly and then allowing you to make affiliate commissions very quickly. And when I mean affiliate commissions, it means just like the Shopify example, you can partner with companies like Shopify, companies like Yield Street, and when you refer customers to them, they'll give you a cut of the earnings. So Shopify, you know, they'll pay, I think they pay like 30, 40%. Um, and that's based off of a 200 to $300 product. So you make money from there just by doing a review on their company. The same thing with Yield Street could be popular uh, or could be, you know, could be popular as far as an affiliate program. So I could type in Yield Street. And you can see reviews pop up again. So again, Google is telling us what people are typing in related to Yield Street. We can create videos and content about that. But I'll type in Yield Street um, affiliate program is what I wanted to type in. Affiliate program Yield Street US CPL. So look, Aragon Advertising. So it's saying Yield Street US investment loans. Sometimes it'll give you the earnings and everything. And it will tell you where to go ahead and join the affiliate network where the offer is advertised on. So the affiliate network is essentially like an Amazon. And then Amazon has individual products. So let the individual product represent Yield Street in an affiliate network. So you have to join the affiliate network and then find the affiliate program and then go ahead and promote that. So you would go ahead and sign up for Aragon uh, Premium, and then you'd be able to get your affiliate links to 
Yield Street and put them in the description of your content and or YouTube videos and kind of spread them out inside of your blog posts. Okay. So that is pretty much how I would go about making money in the next 24 to 48 hours with YouTube and no experience whatsoever. Learn, you know, using the learn, do, teach principle, learn about a product, implement the product, and then simply review the product, share it, and then put a link in the description where people can actually go purchase the product so you can earn affiliate commissions, okay? There's also other, you know, uh, websites we can run through this filter. I'll just show you one more. Earn money now online, get paid to take surveys. Okay, this is just a landing page. I'm gonna click on start earning today. It takes me to inbox dollars. We can run inbox dollars through this filter right here. And then, you know, type in inbox dollars. And you can see it's been around since January 2004, kind of a little bit. Started gaining momentum in 2007, has really skyrocketed, um, you know, in 2020, which is kind of cool. So you can go for a little bit more competitive search terms like this that have been around for a lot longer. But the idea is to find search terms that were just recent, re, recently released over the course of the past one to two years. So an example would be, I did a review on this program called Forsage. I uploaded a video right, I believe in March. It was either in March or at the beginning of April and then boom, it just took off in June and July. So I was right there before the wave hit. So if you go here, we type in, you know, Forsage, you can see 108,000 views. This was uploaded four months ago. So that is the idea with piggyback marketing. I didn't need to have a big channel. I didn't need to have a humongous following to accomplish this. I just had to pick the right keyword at the right time. And it's gonna take a little bit of research, right? But again, once this checks out, once you see something like this here, then of course you take the keyword and then you plug in all in title, just like I said, and then forsage, and then you know obviously the colon and the, the quotes there and enter. You look at your competition, I would say anything less than 10, you're pretty much good to go and golden, but don't overanalyze it. Even if there's a little bit more, start creating content, start uploading videos, start gaining some experience. Okay, so now let's get to the question, okay? And I want your unique comment below. I want you to follow this process and in the comments below, give me a keyword phrase that you found that would be good for piggyback marketing. And I want you to type that in the comments below. Again, that's gonna qualify you for the $1,000 giveaway. Make sure that you like this video if you got value from it especially, and if you wanna be a part of that giveaway, do that. Subscribe to the channel and tick that bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. And lastly, if you wanna learn more about how to build an online business and go from zero to hero, check the resources section in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.